If you can't find this option in your Fortnite settings, you might not be playing Fortnite at your full potential. This refers to the performance mode in Fortnite that allows you to play the game at 120fps on the PS5. Surprisingly, a lot of people are still unsure on how to correctly enable it. So this is going to be the most clear and concise video on how to actually play Fortnite on 120fps with the performance mode feature enabled on the PS5. What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Like I mentioned, in this video, I'm going to show you how to enable 120fps on Fortnite and how to run the game without any frame drops or lag on your TV or monitor. Now many of you watching this video have probably tried adjusting some of the settings on your PS5. However, you still can't find the performance mode or 120fps option in your Fortnite settings. Now this could be due to not changing specific settings on your console. So in this video, I'm going to go through the exact settings required to enable 120fps. Additionally, I'm also going to cover some of the hardware needed to support this refresh rate. So without any further ado, let's just get right into it. So step number one is head over to your settings, then select screen and video, then choose video output settings. Now on this screen, you might think that setting the 120Hz output to automatic would instantly enable 120Hz. While it is partly true, it is only one of four other steps that you need to follow to correctly enable 120Hz gameplay. So for step number two, you're going to go up on the same screen and switch your resolution to automatic as opposed to the maximum available resolution. And this is because while the PS4 does support 120Hz, most games can only run a stable 120fps on 1080p resolution. So setting it to automatic lets your system decide which would work best. But in order to actually prioritize FPS over high resolution, you're going to have to follow step number 3, which is to go back and select game app settings. Here if you scroll down to game presets, you'll see that there's an option to specifically select performance over resolution. Now one thing worth noting is that if you go back to your video output settings and select video output information, a lot of times it will still say 60 hertz. But in order for this to change, we're gonna have to follow step number four, which is to start the game that you wanna play on 120 hertz. For this tutorial, let's use Fortnite. Then when you're in the game, head over to settings, and then you will see that you need to enable 120 FPS even within Fortnite to finally be able to play the game on 120Hz. And this pretty much applies to all other games that you want to play as you're going to have to find the setting on other games as well. One crucial thing to also remember is that your display must have a port that supports at least HDMI 2.0. This doesn't just refer to the cable. While you do need an HDMI 2.0 cable, it's even more important that your display port supports HDMI 2.0. I also know that some of you watching this video have a 120Hz display but still don't see the 120fps option in your Fortnite settings on the PS5. In order to fix this, what you should know is there are plenty of displays out there that support 120hz refresh rate on paper, but only do so through a DVI port, not an HDMI. If you're in this situation, you can use a DVI to HDMI adapter with a DVI connection on one end for your display and an HDMI connection on the other end for your PS5. I'm going to leave an Amazon link to an adapter in the description box down below in case you find your yourself in this situation. But remember, your display must have a 120Hz refresh rate or you won't see this option in Fortnite on your PS5. Once you correctly enable 120Hz with the steps shown in this video, you'll see just how smooth Fortnite becomes. It does lower your graphics in the game, but it will provide you with a super stable 120FPS without any lag in Fortnite. If you have any questions about this, make sure to leave them down in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.